one shot, a one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. A YCS talk in one, one moment. moment. Would you let it slip? Or would you play pendulum? Or break it? Yo, yo, what's up guys? Today's video, I'm gonna show you guys my YCS winning prank kit deck, 40 cards. I know it's not pendulum, we're gonna give people a chance. And it's recorded by Coder. Hi. Let's go guys, we're actually in Montreal right now at Kevin's Locals. I'm 3-0 with it now. Kevin, I need to win today, and I need to win the YCS. Do you believe in me, bro? Yeah, bro, probably. Pro most likely. Most likely? Yeah, maybe. Unless I face you, then I'll lose? It's probably. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it, guys. Before we get into it, go make sure you smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, check out the quarter channel too, check out the play match, check out the Patreon, and let's get started on this amazing prank kit deck. So, uh, the prank kit numbers are, look a little weird, but I'll explain the reasoning behind it. So you play 11 prank kits in total. It's 40 cards. You don't want, the only time you lose when you open four. And 11 gives you, a, I think it was an 83% chance to open one, which in conjunction with White of Air Meteor, uh, with Fusion Destiny, with Aquamantris, is 20 actual cards that are blowout starters. That's 20 of them. And there's a 97% chance to see one of them and like an 85% chance to see two of them. So it's like, uh, it's all you need. And you don't want to draw a bunch of it. And just one of each of the prank kit stuff. And the reason why you're playing these numbers, I'll explain right now. Roxy's the worst one because uh, sometimes you don't want to banish anything from your hand. Like you just need not to. Also play, plays around Joel and Lancia. And the reason why it's three of this versus like, I don't know, maybe two, two, two or something is that uh, Link Karibo uh, is a dark. And the fact that any single prank kit now being a level one has the ability to go into dark is very important. It makes it so in any DPE battle and you have free access so many times, it's so free to have any prank kit to be able to get there. It's very important. And uh, that little thing alone is the best. It's also the best thing to open. It's also a target for one for one, which should be played over like a tw uh, a, an actual prank kit monster. And that's that. So that's a prank kit engine. Next, a brave engine. You want to max it out. And you need to play 40 cards, guys, because you need to actually open these. Like, you need to open these. That's it. You need to open it. A lot of people are playing 50 cards. There's no Magician Souls. Magician Souls is ass. Don't play it in this deck. The reason why Souls sucks is it's only good with the Brave Engine. If you draw Souls and Brave, that doesn't still doesn't even do anything. You need to draw Souls, Brave, and a Prank. And that's just an OTK, FTK. But by itself, Souls sucks. Souls with the Brave stuff and no Pranks, that's nothing. So of course it's amazing when you draw all three of them. But I mean, like this is not the lottery. You don't want to, You're not always gonna have that. You'll have Souls and three hatches by itself. And that, like that is bad and you want to save the space for more hand traps the, 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 and this right here is 30 to, uh, 27 cards uh, making the space for th uh, 13 hand traps i'll explain the ratios of why i'm playing these uh ash is literally just not that good right now which it doesn't even need to be played if i'm being honest it's just the fact that it hits everything the ghost ogre i know you want to play a three i know it sounds weird but i mean they're just small hand traps none of these have that crazy effectiveness and they're not a hard ones per turn. So the reason I'm playing two versus three is these are, I could draw multiples. And I know it, oh, you're not gonna draw two. And it's actually a 3.3% chance of seeing two ghost ogres in one hand. But I mean, why not just avoid that by just playing two or three? It'll happen eventually in a tournament. In one tournament, I drew two ghost ogres a lot together. And like, I know it's whatever, but you want all your hand traps live, especially going second. And it's 13 hand traps like this. And now going second, uh, side out the DP engine against all combo decks. I guess combo decks, just so for those who know what to side in and out, this is what you'll be siding in and out. You're just one of this, one of this. The prank kid name going second when you have six cards versus five is still an 82% chance to see it when you just cut these two with six cards. And this gives you a, a slot for six, six, side, six hand traps to side deck. So you play 19 hand traps post side deck against combo decks. Who's beating that? When you have 21 cards and they're all starters. So that's the idea of it. And now the side deck, which is very important with knowing your side deck idea that you're specifically taking out six all the time against combo decks. So I made sure to play two of hand traps just so it's a lot easier for me and hits every single matchup as well as uh, one DD Crow. In the DP mirror match, you want it to be able so uh, you can make dark with any of your prank kids now. So you want DD Crow to be searchable off dark. So in a DP mirror match, when they pop this, you'll be able to DD Crow and, and uh, banish it. And uh, something else against combo decks, if you really want to, if nothing here hits it, you have Cosmic for Scythe as well. And then, uh, so yeah, these hit everything. And then uh, two Cosmic, two Lightning Storm against back row decks. Uh, that's a side deck. It's very important how it's made so you know exactly what to side in and out. I won the YCS with it, take, take my word. This is a prank and count, very low prank and count. Just these, I don't play the other one because I don't play Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion without a prank kit is absolutely garbage. It's a Magician Souls without without the uh, draw effect. 
it's just awful. And you'll never go into the other one. And they save space for the MVPs of the extra deck, which I'm going to explain right now. Uh, then obviously you need these. You need one of this, one of this. The reason why is not only does it make prank kids go into the dark, but also it makes it so uh, you try and save Nibiru, or on Nibiru, you try and save the pranks. You try and bait your opponent to Nibiru as soon as they can, and then you have pranks in your hand. So with the Link Spider and the pranks making a token, you make Link Karibu, you make Verte. Another reason why you can go down as well with it, which is important, because no, uh, act, no extra deck plays this, but play all the nightmares. It's so important. I can't stress this enough. You're playing a Link deck, bro. When you're going second and you're resolving one prank kid, you have to actually clear boards now. So because you have access to all three nightmares, you're triggering all three nightmare effects per turn going second against the board and triggering the draw effect as well. Finally leading to the access go talker. That's why these are also important. Going second, almost always you have you start with this to actually clear it. Uh, saving a prank kid for the end. And it's very easy and very amazing and very free. That's why I won with it. Let's go. And that's it for the extra deck. To top it off, guys, I would like to thank my Elvis playmat for the reason that I won. So make sure to go right now to TripGaming.com to get your playmats. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys got this part, make sure to smash the subscribe, smash the like button. Shout out to Coder. Shout out to you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Prank second best deck after Pendulum. Let's go. Let's go on casino time, baby! Let's go! That's gonna be epic. I don't know what this boss is doing. You really can't drive him much wrong. That's gonna be sick, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Money. Ain't that some shit? Take over the world when I'm on my Donald Trump shit. If you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, a YCS top in one moment, would you let it slip? Or would you play pendulum? Or break it? Yo, fancies for game. Alright guys, me and Kevin, we're going to the casino baby, we're going to win a million dollars. Let's go, no. Guys, listen, I'm going to be honest with you guys here, okay? If you guys, if I win big time here, there's going to be no videos for five days. <laughs> Give me a heads up. If we're down bad, there's going to be- I'm sure he loses so you get content. If we're down bad, there's going to be 30 videos in the next 15 days. Easy. Just so you guys are aware. <laughs> I will not say if we win or not. I just lost seven hundred dollars in like seven minutes. <laughs> the best thing, baby. Let's, Let's go. go. What a fucking beast! Yeah, he's a he's a beast. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Is the best deck pendulum? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, best deck. Let's go. Dragon Link, the seventeenth best deck. Let's go. You guys, how do you say? Let's get sauce in French. If anyone in the chat knows how to say that, excuse me, how do you say let's get sauce in French? Sule, sula, pete! I'm basically taking a YouTube video for my friend here. He has a famous <laughs> YouTube. He has a famous YouTube, so. Thank you. You're so sauce. I'm not sauce. Do you accept OTS packs?